Welcome to video number four, Extend. Extend is where the program now prices and labors your takeoff. So simply start off by clicking on your number four button, Extend. When I click on Extend, it brings me to a label screen. Now what this is asking you to do is to check off what you would like to see in your reports. So we have, from earlier, set up our labels and we've broken down the job by the floors and the lighting and power and fire alarm. So you have the ability to run a report on just floor one if you wanted to, or all floors, or maybe you just wanted to see lighting. You could uncheck power and fire alarm and see floor one and two lighting. So you have many different options here on how you want to run reports. For today, we're going to run the entire job. So I have base bid checked and I have all other labels checked. So after everything is checked, simply hit your extend button on the bottom right hand side of your screen. It immediately brings you to your extension reports. To run a report is quite simple. You move from left to right. You pick your pricing and labor levels. So I explained in an earlier video, we have different pricing and labor levels. We have price one and bid labor. We have book price and bid labor. Book price and NECA one. Price one and change order. So you have many different levels that you can choose from. You can run all these reports if you wanted to. But for today, we're going to run price one and bid labor. Our best price and best labor. We move to the second side of the screen here. So you pick the report, you come over here, you can now name the summary. So instead of summary one, I'm gonna name this base bid to match my extension reports. So we have edit price one, we have price one and bid labor, we have our summary base bid, and we have our new extension button. All you have to do is simply hit the new extension button new edit extension button and it's going to run your extension and as you can see it's opened up a full report for me the system has broken up all of those assemblies and all of your items you've done in takeoff and has now quantified it in your extension so as you can see I've got 15,000 feet of 12 THHN I've got 500 feet of 10 I've got 5,000 feet of half inch EMT as we move to the right what we're looking at here is the pricing and labor levels. So in this program, you can see anything in yellow is what we're extending by. So if I have 5,000 feet of half inch EMT at $52 per hundred, so you have C is 100, M is per thousand, E is each, but uh, we have 5,000 feet at $52 per hundred comes to $2,623.20. As I move to the right, it now shows me my labor. And my labor says it should take two hours to install 100 feet. If that is the case, we took out 5,000 feet, that comes to 100 man hours. So you see in this report, material cost and how many man hours. So within McCormick, we can make changes to this extension report. So if I were to come in here and change the level, uh, maybe I get half inch EMT for $24 per hundred. It's, I can type it right over my price one, hit enter, and as you can see, it does the math for you automatically and shows it in red that you have changed it. If you have the win 1000 or the win 3000, you cannot change price one because it is a formula. Simply go to book price here and you can change the pricing here. So if I wanted to make my 12 THHN, I wanted to make it $150 per thousand feet, I type in 150 and then I'm going to have to adjust the multiplier because it's taking book price times this giving you price one. So I'm going to, put, I'm going to do this multiplier at one. Now you can see my book price and my price one match giving me my extended price. Again, if you have the win 4,000 or the win 6,000, you may click on price one and change it over the formula. So there you go. Uh, very easy to do, very easy to manipulate your, your data. 
And as I do this, you can see it's automatically updating my numbers to the right. So it is giving you a live extension. Now, remember, this is just a report. If I go in here and I mess this report up in any way, it's not a big deal. I can go back and I can rerun a brand new report. Within McCormick, we have the ability to run multiple reports and multiple scenarios. So we can never really mess up the job at this point. We can make as many changes that we want. I can bring the half inch EMT up to 5,250 feet if I would like. I can change any price, any labor. So you have the option to manipulate and form your job here in the extension. Now we do have some tabs down below that you can view. Uh, you have a raw extension, which is just another way to view your takeoff. I do have a cost code tab down here. Same thing we're looking at. You can see your changes, but now it has actually categorized your takeoff. So I'm looking at my branch rough and it actually totals it up for you. My branch rough is costing me $3,323 and my branch rough is going to take me 144 man hours to install and so on and so forth. So our program can break down your material into cost codes for you. Next you have your cost code totals. This is the same thing we were looking at just minus the material. It's showing you the percentage of the job. So branch rough is costing me $3,300. That's 47% of my entire job are 144 man hours, which is 52% of my total job. So I know where I'm gonna to need to focus my resources. And then back to the report we were originally on. So this is the extension. McCormick's program automatically breaks down your assemblies, puts it into this nice form for you where you can manipulate the job and, and save it from here. Now this is the only place in McCormick where we do save because these are reports. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna to go to File, Save As, and I can save this as anything I want. I'm gonna save this as Base Bid. Base Bid 1. All right, now that that's saved, I can exit out of the report. Down here is where I can run a new report. So if I wanted to, I can run that same report again. I hit New Extension Report. And now it brings me to re-extend options. For now, this video, we're not going to go over our base bid. We're not going to update and overwrite our quantities in base bid. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to run a brand new report. So I just hit new button and it brings me back to a new report. So as you can see, all my original numbers are back. I have not changed anything permanently. So now I can save this report as original. So as simple as that. So McCormick, you have the ability to run as many reports as you want and save them as many times as you want. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this report. Okay, so we're all in agreement that when we go through the extend process, this is how we run new reports. Now, if we look up into the left-hand side of the ribbon here, as you can see, you can, we can run our new extensions or we can go into our saved extension reports. So I'm going to click on my saved extension reports and there they are. So I can open up whatever one I want, I can view them, I can change them, I can resave them and go on with my day. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go uh, into base bid here. That was the one we were editing and changing and everything looks good. So the final step to this process is if everything looks good, you have your numbers up here on the right hand side you can see I've got my total price for the job. So this is my material cost. So my total material cost is $6,953. On the right side of that you have your total labor. So total labor for this job is 273 man hours. So this is, this is your raw data for the job. Now we are going to go on and finish up the job when we get to the bid summary. To send these to the bid summary, simply hit your send to button. So if this is the report you want to use, everything looks great, you've made your changes, you like your material list, you're going to send to your base bid summary. Uh, we do have graphs and schedule feature for the training videos. We're going to go ahead and we'll go into these graphs and schedule features at a later date. So I'm going to say no to graphs and schedules. That is how you send your material list to 
your bid summary. Now we will go on and we're going to finish up the bid summary. I'm going to save my changes. We're going to go to step number five to finish up the numbers. We're going to put in all of our extra costs and, and really finish up the job. So number four is simply pulling your material, looking at material cost, looking at material labor, and then going on with your day. So please join us in video number five, bid summary. Thank you very much.